Hello students we are about to jump into grade 6 with a very exciting chapter 1 which is data big data and internet of things so let's begin by understanding what big data is big data is a collection of data that is huge in volume the social media sites like facebook generates 500 plus terabytes of data in terms of photo and video uploads message exchanges putting comments etc all in a single day our world has changed as a result of the internet it has transformed communications to the point where it is now our preferred mode of communication on a daily basis we utilize the internet in practically every aspect of our lives be it ordering pizza purchasing books sharing a moment with a friend and sending a photo over instant messaging which are just a few examples let's move on to data and information now data usually refers to raw quantities letters or symbols one example would be elephants 4000 7500 3 2.7 asian and once raw data like this is processed it is known as information which would look something like this elephants are the world's largest land animal male african elephants can reach 3 meter tall and weigh between 4000 to 7500 kg asian elephants are slightly smaller 2.7 meter tall and weighing 3000 to 6000 kg now data can be of two types qualitative and quantitative qualitative data is the data that is a descriptive piece of information whereas quantitative data is the data that provides numerical information quantitative data can be further divided into discrete and continuous data discrete data is a count that involves only integers meaning something that is usually counted the discrete values cannot be subdivided into parts For example, the number of students in a class or the number of workers in a company. And continuous data is something that is usually measured. It can be meaningfully divided into finer levels. For example, the amount of time required to complete a project or the height of children. With that, let's continue to learn about knowledge. Knowledge is the ability to understand information and then form judgments. opinions and make predictions and decisions based on that understanding the dikw pyramid given below represents the relationships between data information knowledge and wisdom first comes data then information next is knowledge and finally comes wisdom each step answers different questions about the initial data and adds value to it Now let's begin learning about big data. Big data is a collection of data that is huge in volume, yet growing exponentially with time. It is very large and complex for traditional data management tools to process efficiently. Let's dive further into big data and see what its characteristics are. The first is volume. This refers to the huge amount of data that is generated at a rapid rate every day, including sources such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, IoT, and others. Usually, data sets greater than terabytes and petabytes are called big data. Second is velocity, which refers to the high speed of accumulation of data. For example, social media platforms generate a massive amount of data every minute, meaning at a high velocity. Next is veracity. This refers to the consistency, quality, accuracy and reliability of big data. In other words, veracity is the process to sort out and manage big data. Fourth is variety, meaning it is generally collected from a wide range of sources. A data set can have variety by containing images, text, audio or video. Fifth and lastly is value. Data in itself is of no use or importance, but it needs to be converted into something valuable to extract information. Speaking of value, big data is also very valuable. As digitalization is rapidly growing, so is the demand for big data. 
especially because of the sudden rise in the use of electronic devices such as smartphones, tablets, etc. Now let's go deeper into the chapter to find out what is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things, IoT for short, is a term used for the increasing number of everyday devices and objects that are connected to the Internet and that are capable of gathering and transmitting data. With IoT, we can control anything through the internet like domestic devices, vehicles, etc. One of the best examples of this is the car MG Hector. But how did we come to be? Going back to its history, the term Internet of Things was coined by entrepreneur Kevin Ashton, one of the founders of the Auto ID Center of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He used the phrase Internet of Things in a 1999 presentation and it has stuck around ever since. IoT is very significant because it makes available data that was not previously used. Now, what are IoT devices? They are smart devices that support internet connectivity and can interact with other devices over the internet and grant remote access to users for managing the devices according to their requirements. Importance of IoT in healthcare Let us take a futuristic situation and understand why we need IoT. At home, there is a patient. He is on life support all of the time. A cloud-based health monitoring system keeps track of his condition. Now, because the cloud-based technology is also linked to a hospital, this information is forwarded to the hospital. So they have all of the essential information about the patient's current condition without needing to leave the patients at the hospital. So how do they work? There are mainly four components of IoT – sensors, connectivity, data processing, and user interface. Sensors are the first point of contact between the outside environment and the IoT system. They are embedded in gadgets and appliances and work to collect data from the surroundings such as the location, temperatures, light, and even moisture and heart rates. A well-known example is a smartphone which has such sensors. Connectivity is when one data has been collected, it is sent to the IoT platform also known as cloud infrastructure through mediums such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular networks and others. Data processing happens when data is collected and shared, which is then processed to extract useful information. This is possible through big data engine analytics. After data has been analyzed, it is sent back to the user so that they can take required action. User interface is how a user is presented with the information to analyze the information to make a decision. Let's understand the application of IoT. First is the smart homes. Smart homes are the revolution in the technological world. Unlocking doors, switching on lights and the AC and adjusting its temperature according to the weather are some of the features of smart homes. Second is through smart bags. An example is the Adobe Smart Bag, a bag linked to the retailer's mobile phone, keeping track of what's in the bag showing it virtually. RFID or radio frequency identification and beacon technologies are used in such bags. Fourth application is wearables. These are devices that have sensors embedded in them and can be worn. There are a lot of IoT devices that one can wear such as smart spectacles, smart watches and many others. It broadly covers fitness and health related data. Fifth and last are entire smart cities. Smart cities are another application of IoT and it includes automated transport energy management, environmental monitoring and smart bins are also possible, which can alert municipal services that bins need to be emptied. And that is all you need to know about data, big data and the Internet of Things, all of which we can already see around us. Futuristic technology isn't so far in the future anymore. Hope to see you soon and keep learning. Bye!